Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to do a review on the Cambio RCA 2-in-1 tablet PC. Oh yeah, let's dig into it. And the results are actually kind of not surprising. So anyway, I reached out to a RCA agent um, by the name of Michelle or Michael, can't really say for sure, he's European. But anyway, I asked him, I said, hey, I've been looking at your product line for your two-in-one tablets, and I was wondering if maybe you guys would send me one to do a review on. And they said, yeah, sure, we would love to do that. We'll get one sent out to you. Six months later, it arrives. So I took it out of the box got a skin for it, a, like a nice little tablet um, skin to protect it. One thing I would have to say though is that a mouse definitely will come in handy with this device. I definitely recommend using a mouse with it. The little 3.5 inch trackpad is crazy. I would not ever use that. Nope. So a mouse is what it is. Anyway, the Cambio RCA Alrighty, it's set up just like a PC. It runs Windows 10, it has a 10 inch screen, and it's touch screen also. So if you don't want to use the keyboard or the mouse, it's touch screen. Cool thing about it is it has a couple of good I.O. It has a USB, a micro USB, a power, and a mini HDMI plug on this side not too shabby one of my favorite features about this whole thing is that let's say i'm using it and i don't want to use the keyboard anymore i can actually pick up the tablet and walk away with it it connects right here at the bottom with the little connector points and as you can see right there on the keyboard it's magnetic very nice feature it just self aligns with it and i'm i'm stoked about the whole magnetic thing about it i mean that, that that's pretty cool now, it does have a USB 3 port of volume, a microphone USB, port HDMI, I done went over that, uh, let's see here. It does come with the licensed Windows of Office. That's pretty cool, right? Windows Office. Now, the model number that we're looking at is W101SA23T1B. And it is blue. That's the actual color that I went with was blue. It does have some really cool features. Now you can actually link this since it's Windows 10. You can link this to your home Windows and link it to your phone, which is really cool. Now, since I've said a couple of the good things about it, like it has 32 gigs of RAM. I'm sorry, it has two, 32 gigs of memory. It has two gigs of virtual DDR3 RAM. I already mentioned the 10 inch screen. It has dual cameras, front and back. It can last up to six hours. It has a 120, I'm sorry, a 1280 by 800 IPS display. I already said that it had built in 32 gigs of memory storage. It has an Intel Atom processor with two gigs of virtual RAM. I already said that it includes Office mobile apps, World Mobile, Excel Mobile, PowerPoint Mobile, and OneNote. Not too bad. It has a built-in 802.1 GBN Wi-Fi and it has up to six hours of battery life. It also has a micro SD card slot, power button, volume button, headphone jack, and a microphone jack. The price for this little sucker a hundred bucks guys a hundred bucks now I use this as my daily driver from time to time and I tell you what this thing it's slow it is so slow Let, let's say I can pull up Amazon because you know it's one touch and if I don't want to use that then I can use well the trackpad now I would have to say that the trackpad is very sensitive it responds to my touches pretty well not too bad um, I do wish that there was an RCA jack in it and there's no mouse click buttons the only thing that you have is the double tap the touch screen and that's it now it does say that the battery 
life of the device is up to six hours, which, eh, depending on what you're doing, I can see that that just may not work very well. Here, we'll go in the settings real quick, and we'll type in, um, we'll type in hardware, see what we get, city, go into that. Okay, so there we go. Uh, it has a 32-bit operating system times 64 base processor, touch support with 10 touch points, uh, 1.4 gigahertz CPU. Okay, so it's an X5Z8350 Atom processor. Uh, that's not too bad. The main thing that got my attention... The main thing that got my attention was the fact of the portability. That I could have a full size Windows 10 tablet in my hands, touch screen, you don't have to be tied down to a keyboard. Very nice feature. Disconnects, reconnects. I love that. And not only that, the price point was right. At a hundred bucks, you just couldn't go wrong. I spent another twenty dollars and bought a decent little handy game gaming mouse to go with it and like I said I spent another 12 bucks or so to get me a case to protect it uh, I use it basically to just check my emails and little things like that because it just does not have enough oomph that was one of my biggest complaints with it I was like you know you guys run a 32-bit window system and you just give it barely enough to run the actual operating system so when I tried to run Windows, like I tried to check my emails or I'll have Amazon pulled up, you, it just slows everything down. So you could only have one tab open at a time. You I mean you can open multiple tabs, but if you want the thing to work and work quickly, then you're going to have to have one tab open. And then on top of that, I found that just the basic tasking of it was horrible. I tried playing Facebook games. Facebook video games and the thing just could not do it it would process and render the graphics but it would be so choppy and so slow that it was just a waste of my time and I should just forget what I was doing so you know it's I would say that this is a good product and that I think that this would be perfect for maybe like a young kid like a 10 year old or a 12 year old or something like that or maybe a real old person that would just want to basically just check their emails and then every once in a while see what's going on on maybe a social platform but even then you are stretching the boundaries and the capabilities of this tablet computer you know um, the, the, the list of expectations is small and the list of features is only the selling point that's it the HDMI ports the USB ports the touch screen the ability to remove the keyboard from the tablet the fact that it's a Windows 10 license based system uh, you know that it comes with office software and some of the other perks of it USB 3.0 you know things of that nature those are the selling features of it I think that they should put a faster processor in it and I think they need to give it more virtual RAM. The RAM that is set aside for the processing task of the CPU is just not enough to process and task all of the programs and systems that you're running. I even tried cleaning the system out. I went through it and deactivated all the programs that were running in the back. I took out all the files and all the games and stuff that came preloaded on it to try to free up some of the memory space. None of it helped none of it so I gave it to my wife to let her use what she does with computers is a lot less multitasking and a lot less you know strenuous than what I do and even she found that it was a pain in the ass she bought a Amazon fire tablet an I, uh, a fire 7 tablet that tablet does way more than this does and that tablet was about 30 to 40 dollars cheaper now don't get me wrong it didn't have windows 10 or none of that kind of stuff it had like jelly bean 2.0 or something like that i'm not exactly sure but the system itself you know it is what it is
using the system was quite frustrating. The processing task of it was just so slow. So I gave it the benefit of the doubt and chucked it up as maybe Wi-Fi connection. But no, it was the programs itself just running too slow. Also, I noticed that the tablet, it gets fairly warm, fairly quick. And I will tell you this much, you better keep it plugged in because it will, it will last six hours by itself just sitting there idling. But as soon as you start using it, the consumption of it goes crazy. Cool thing, it does have vertical and horizontal tilt. So if you want to turn the tablet, you can. See, vertical and then horizontal tilt. Um, the speakers are on one side and one side only. That is that side right there. The cool thing about the tablet is, is it does have a built-in kickstand. Check that out. Now, I would have to say that you have to be careful dealing with the kickstand because there is a ribbon cable right there that runs through the back of the kickstand. And that is a little bit on the iffy side. There's all of your I.O. right down through the middle. This right here, this is pretty cool. That's where your SD card slot goes into. So in case you want to add more memory or more storage to it, you can. Uh, fairly cool, nice little GIF. I just don't recommend it for anybody that needs to do any type of serious computing work on it. It's just, it's just not meant for that. You know, it just really ain't. But then I'm fully functional layout. It is a QWERTY, C Q W E R T Y. This is a QWERTY style layout of keyboard. Has all your full functions. Even has some hotkeys at the top here, which is a nice feature. the The computer will eventually black out if you don't use it. It will black out. Now I would like to show you guys the cameras on it. Now the cameras aren't too bad, but they don't really give you the statistics of the camera like it doesn't tell you how many megapixels it is or nothing like that but it works pretty well and I'll show you guys real quick okay so that's what we're looking at right there can you see it there's the studio inside it's kinda dark I don't know why alright now we're recording let's see here let's reverse it take a photo here let's reverse the camera there we go okay so now you guys can see me. See, the camera isn't too bad. It's not bad for, you know, talking through FaceTime or whatever. It's acceptable. And it does take decent photos. So, I mean, what, I mean, what do you expect for $100, right? Can't expect too much for it. But other than all, it is a sleek looking tablet. I would have to say that, you know, my biggest complaints with it is really the fact that there's not enough power in the machine to run it properly if they put you know four or five maybe six gigs of ram in it up the storage the storage is only 32 gigs but it does allow you to add more virtual storage to it which is a nice feature so yeah that's pretty much what i got to say about the rca cambodio two-in-one tablet what do y'all think do you guys like it you think it's worth the money the hundred bucks I don't know. Leave me a comment and give me a like, guys. Also, check out the merch. See the shirt? Look. Hold on. I'll show it to you guys real fast. Anyway, see the merch? See the shirt? It has ATEC PCs on the back. And then on top of that, it has the logo on the front. And it's beautiful. Um, I'm going to get some more in. Water bottles, pens, things like that. See what you guys think. See if y'all like the idea of it. Uh, maybe I can give out a couple of shirts to a couple lucky winners, maybe some good viewers. I don't know, I'll have a contest. Maybe have some spitball, some ideas, something like that. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. This was my review of the RCA Cambodia. 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 Cambodia? Cambodia. I don't know, I'm a redneck, so we, we say y'alls down here and shit, but... 2-in-1 tablet, Windows 10, 32-bit operating system. I'm out of here. Leave me a comment. Drop me a like. Peace.